Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the Max Script video series and today we are going to talk about selection. So I have a couple of objects here like geometries, shapes, lights, cameras and helpers. And if I just make a random selection like this, we can access this by using a keyword called selection. Now if we evaluate we get dollar selection and if we write the class of selection we get an object set. Similarly, we can just say print selection and it will print out all the objects that we have selected. Okay, now if the current selection is an object set, which means it is similar to an array or a list, and hence if we say selection.count, we will get the number of objects selected. To access one specific object in the selection, we can use the selection keyword and then we can write the index of the item we want to select inside the rectangular brackets. So if we see the first object, it's an omni light. If we see the seventh object, it's a rectangle. And now if we say we want to select, let's say the 10th object. So it's going to give undefined. That means if we try to access something which is outside the object set, we will not get anything. Uh, similarly, if you want to access a property of the object like name, you can just say selection, the items index number and dot name. So we get omni003 is the first selected object. If we say get the select name of the fifth selected object, it's 0 0.001. And now if I say let's take the 15th object, we get an error. This is because we are trying to access a property of an object which does not even exist. So this is how you can access the current selection and you can even iterate through it using a loop. You can access and change the properties as well. Now if I don't have a selection and I want to select, so if you recall from the previous videos, every object has a class. For instance, this box is of class box and its super class is geometry. So we can say that these objects are geometries, these are shapes, then we have lights, cameras, and helpers. And similarly, you have the selection filters based on their types. Now, if we were supposed to select all the geometry, we would simply use the keyword select, or you can also call it as a function which takes in a parameter, and we will say select geometry. If we run it, we select all the geometry. Similarly, we say shapes, then lights, cameras, and helpers. And now if you would like to select all the objects, you say objects. So now you have selected all the objects and you can access their properties or modify the property values. Next, if you want to deselect, you use the word deselect and you can say, I want to just deselect the shapes. And there you go. If you want to deselect cameras, you can deselect the cameras. And if you want to deselect everything, you can just deselect objects. So in this video, we saw how we can access the current selection, how we can select objects and deselect objects. And if you would like to access the properties, you can iterate through each object or select an individual object from the selection and access the properties. You can fetch the property value or modify the property value as well. So that is it for the video and thank you so much for watching.